Sometimes if there's little cuts or which people can have, it's in a colon. So they would come from not urology, right? They would come from colorectal surgery, those types of uh, specialties. So the patients with the pain can come from urology or colorectal specialties. Um, GI, gastroenterology. And so if they have sometimes a little cut or something, sometimes the muscle goes into spasm. And the, it's called a fissure. And the fissure can might heal, but then the muscle stays. Those who have the pain could have painful ejaculation. So the contraction during the climax is painful. So some people experience the pain at the moment when they're uh, climaxing, and others might have a more latent response where maybe an hour later or so they have it, or where they know that if that activity were to happen at night and then they were to go to sleep and then they wake up in the morning the next day, sometimes they're in the air. And so before they remove the prostate gland, they have to very carefully, the surgeon will do this with robotic prostatectomy, robotic surgery, or even if they were doing the open manual procedure, they have to remove, take those nerves and peel them off the prostate gland. They don't cut them, but they try to salvage them and take them they off, and then they will remove the prostate gland here to peel it. away. So the nerves are still there, but they can be, the nerves themselves or the blood supply to the nerves, the neurovascular bundle might be damaged, and it might take six months to a year to Restore the place. That's not much we can, there's not much we can do for that. However, what's encouraged is that the patients use a pump to maybe three times a week or or more to use a pump to attain an erection so that the tissues can stay elongated, not atrophy, and continue to vascularize. So we might recommend or make sure that they're doing that or. Mm -hmm.